Hello everyone, this is David, and today we're going to be talking about how to get HD footage of backgrounds in Super Smash Bros. Melee. And you'll be able to see how you can take it from this, to this, to this, and finally, to this. And they all have their uses and purposes, so we'll be going over that today. First of all, we're going to start with your version of Dolphin, and we're going to right-click your 1.02 Melee ISO, and we're going to hit Properties. Now make sure you go to Gecko Codes, and we're going to review the codes that we'll be using today, and um, I'll make sure and include links to these codes in the description so you can use them, including a tutorial on how to add codes if you're unfamiliar with how to do that. So the big ones that we're going to be using right now are Character Models Invisible, No Character Shadows, Remove HUD, as well as the widescreen 16x9 code included in Slippy, for example. Uh, we'll have the hard-coded music off code, and then a few other ones that don't matter as much. You can do VS with one player only, which is kind of handy. Move C-Stick with down pad on the D-pad down, I should say, and C-Stick. And then, of course, C-Stick always working no matter if you have develop mode or not on. And then the last one that I like to use is disable screen shake. What's helpful about this is for stages like Pokemon Stadium and Dreamland, the screen will occasionally shake, which makes capturing footage less ideal. So I enjoy turning that on so that the capture process is a bit smoother. All right, now that you're familiar with kind of the codes involved, I'm now going to show you these two programs. We have DAT Texture Wizard, DAT Texture Wizard, and HS Draw. So first we're going to use DAT Texture Wizard, and the first thing we're going to do is open up an ISO. So make sure you select Open Disk, and but actually what I'm going to do is, this is an unmodified vanilla 1.02 Melee ISO. I'm actually going to copy that. Let me get a duplicate of it really fast, and then I'm going to call this modified. Whenever you're making edits to ISOs, it's really helpful to know which ones are original and which ones are copies that have been modified. So I've just done that. I'm now going to open this modified copy, and you'll see an entire list of files that make up the ISO of Super Smash Bros. Melee. And thankfully for us, we have helpful descriptions and icons in this UI that make it easier to find what we're looking for. In this case, we're looking for Battlefield. So we're going to scroll down here until we see Battlefield, and it looks like here is the file for that. I'm actually going to right-click this and hit select Export, and we're going to call this the default file name with unmodified in its file name to make it very clear that this is Battlefield, no changes whatsoever. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up HSDraw, make it full screen here. I'm actually going to open that file that we just exported. Here's the unmodified Battlefield one we just exported. I'm going to scroll down. You're going to see a lot of uh, entries here. You can pretty much ignore them. The big thing to look for in all stages is go to Map Head, expand that. You're going to go to Model Groups, expand that. And then you'll have a series of arrays. And what you'll do is you'll double-click the root node on each one and kind of go through and see what we're dealing with here. This looks like the first phase of the background of Battlefield. Um, this is the second phase. Okay, these all look like backgrounds. These are the kind of things we'll be wanting to capture, so we won't want to get rid of these, but we do want to remove the stage. So, looks like these are still backgrounds. Okay, we have another background. Very nice. This, hopefully, this is the stage. Let's see. And looks, look at that. Looks like this is the stage. Very nice. Uh, and, in fact, sometimes, this is including the platforms in the base stage, but sometimes the platforms is on a different set of nodes or in a different array. Uh, than the platforms of the base stage, or sometimes background elements of the stage are on a different array. So anyway, just just make sure you explore all these and find the parts of the stage you want to remove. And this is the way that I do it. It's It might be kind of janky or not ideal. Uh, so if somebody more knowledgeable in the modding melee scene wants to leave a comment below correcting me, by all means, please do that. But this is just how I do it. So what you'll notice here is there's this tab called Objects, and I basically just delete all the objects. To do that, I just hit this, and yes. Sorry for the noise, by the way. And I just hit this and enter over and over until they're all removed. Okay, so the entire base stage and all the platforms have been removed, theoretically just leaving the background. So at this point, I'm actually going to export this modified stage. And to do that, I'm going to hit Save As, and I'm going to call this Modified. All right, so now it's very clear which of the battlefields has been tampered with and which one is not. So now I'm going to go back, actually, to DAT Texture Wizard, 
We're going to make sure we're in the right area here. We're under stages. We've got battlefield here and we have our modified ISO loaded. So we're, we're good to replace this file because I've clearly labeled this as the modified version of Melee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this. And I'm going to hit import file. I'm going to select the modified version of Battlefield, open, and notice that it said file replaced awaiting save. So uh, at this point, it's going to basically wait for you to hit save. You can also hit save as if you'd like. I'm going to use save because we're already on our modified version and it's going to save it. So this is a modified version of the ISO with a replaced version of Battlefield. Let's see if that worked. Uh, one thing I like to do is close out of all the programs that I had running it and uh, just start fresh, open a new instance of Dolphin, and I'm actually going to navigate to that modified ISO that we just uh, edited. Notice the date modified are a bit different between these two. This is when I ripped this copy of Melee, and then this is when I uh, just modified this just now. Now we're going to go to VS mode, we're going to go to Special Melee, and Fixed Camera Mode. The reason we do that is because it gives a pretty good view of the background, and it just is a nice way to demonstrate what we're doing. I'm also going to pick one character with one player. I'm going to change the time limit to none. And now, because of the code we've enabled, you'll notice I can already start. And the other codes we have enabled, keep in mind, are invisible characters, no character shadows, removed effects, widescreen, and no HUD. So let's see. If everything goes according to plan, we should be loaded a version of Battlefield that is completely invisible stage. Ready? And sure enough, look at that. We have not only an invisible character and all the stuff we planned on with the codes, we actually have a modified version of Battlefield that is simply the background and no foreground, which is awesome. Now, obviously, I'm technically still playing, so you can see Fox's shine here. <laughs> this is me. I'm a character on here, but we have, uh, we have a setup here that allows for background capture in full HD. There are a few other ways you can get background footage also. One of them is by going to Options and selecting Free Look Settings and enabling that. In some cases, depending on your version of Dolphin, it might actually be under Graphics. Uh, so, to, so you'll have to keep out for that. I believe it's Graphics Advanced. But if you have a more recent version of Dolphin, it will be under Options. Now back here in Dolphin, if I hold Shift and I use the WSD arrow keys, I can actually move the camera freely and get footage this way too, which is pretty handy. You can look up, you can move up, down, pan. You can actually, if you um, if you use the keys below WASD, you can actually look up and down. You can tilt, you can rotate. There's all kinds of things you can do. If you completely mess up the camera, you can hold Shift R to reset it. And of course, you can always disable it if it becomes a problem. Additionally, you can actually manipulate the Dolphin texture loading and dumping feature to essentially replace images with transparency. Uh, there's another video I covered that shows you how to kind of mess with HD textures, which relates to that. So I would look at that video for further instruction. But essentially, you just dump every texture that you can in the scene that you want to get rid of. You know, open it in a photo editor, replace it with transparency, save it as the same file name, and then put it in the load folder and it will essentially load transparency instead of the images that it's supposed to be loading. I've also created a video that shows you how to capture green screen footage of characters in Melee, so I'll link to that in the description also. As some of you may know, I've recently completed my Melee HD project, but my hope is that you are able to go out there and capture your own HD footage. Thank you again so much, everyone, for subscribing and liking and continuing to support me, and happy 20th birthday to Melee.